Welcome dear learners to yet another video lesson. My name is Chayanika Senapati and I am from Maniram Devan School of Management and today I am going to discuss about various aspects of job analysis. Dear learners, in order to improve the performance of employees and their satisfaction and make the organization you know, effective uh, by creating the environment favorable for you know, interest, uh, introducing changes and there, sh uh, there is a need uh, to frame a strategy. So this strategy calls for understanding and the concepts which we are going to discuss uh, today in this video lesson. Uh, uh, the strategies like work study, job analysis, designing the job, job evaluation, then, uh, then job de enrichment of the employees from time to time. And the objective of these strategies that I have mentioned here is to increase the performance of the individuals and groups and thereby increase the level of the organization of the cooperation of the enterprise and teamwork in the organization. So let us discuss about the various aspects of uh, job analysis. This video on job analysis has been divided into three parts. After going through the first part of the video, you will be able to explain the meaning of work study. Also, you will be able to describe the nature uh, the concept and the process of conducting job analysis. After going through the second part of the video, you will be able to identify the various techniques of job design. And after going through the third part of the video, you will be able to learn about the job evaluation and its process. And also, you will be discuss uh, about uh, the job enrichment. So let us first discuss about work study. Work study deals with uh, techniques of uh, method study and time study and uh, it work a uh, measurement uh, for better and best possible use of human machines and materials. The objectives of work study can be mentioned as you know finding better ways of doing work then avoiding wastages and to give the ways to obtain the optimum use of human machine and material for accomplishing the goals. There are certain aspects of work study. They are most effective use of plant and equipment, most effective use of human efforts, and evaluation of human work. So let us discuss about method study. So what it is? It is the systematic recording, analysis, and critical examination of existing and proposed ways of doing work. Method study can be applied to any field of work, but most important areas can be, you know, improve the layout of office, you know, working uh, areas of the factories, then improve design of plant and equipment, improved use of materials, plants, equipment and manpower, then effective handling of materials, uh, also uh, improved flow of work, uh, you know, safety standards, standardization of methods and overall uh, better working conditions. So what is time study? It is concerned with the establishment of time standards for qualified workers to perform a specific job. Method study must proceed time study before any attempt is made to measure. Now let us discuss about job analysis. Edwin B. Flippo defined job analysis as the process of studying and collecting information relating to operations and responsibilities of a specific job. Job analysis is the procedure of exploring systematically the facts and the function within a job. It is one of the important functions of human resource manager in an organization. We know through this uh, process of a job analysis knows the duties, the responsibilities and the accountabilities of a job and qualities, skills, potentials and the talents to perform it. The job analysis is done systematically because it is, you know, basically a technical uh, procedure involving compilation of uh, information relating to successful performance of a job and, you know, determination of relationship with other jobs and evaluating and prescribing the required qualifications, required skills and knowledge necessary for it. It is a useful tool uh, for human resource planning making recruitment and selection, you know, providing for training and development. Then also it is an uh, important tool for performance appraisal, career planning and so on. 
Now let us discuss about the process of job analysis. A job analysis is a process of collecting information regarding some or all the jobs in an organization or an enterprise. So let us now discuss the steps followed for job analysis process. First is the time for conducting job analysis. In modern times we know things are changing very fast and frequently. The new competitors are entering into the business and the industrial arena. And under this changed circumstances, organizations have to restructure the organizational setup as a part of strategy to meet the challenges. This leads to job analysis. Some new jobs may be you know, created, some eliminated or some may be combined with others. So for this job analysis is required. Now let us discuss the second step that is uh, the collection of information relating to the job. So after deciding uh, to conduct the job analysis, the second step is to collect all the relevant information relating to various jobs in the organization. And to conduct this uh, analysis, uh, one has to go through some collection information methods. So one is the questionnaire method. So it is widely used method of data collection. A detailed questionnaire is prepared so that the vital information is not missed and can be collected. Second is the observation. So in this method, the job performers are observed while they are working. And observation may be you know, continuous or in samples also. And it is useful for the jobs involving you know, physical activities. It provides observers the general familiarity about the job. Again, uh, other me method is the interview method. Uh, here, the experienced employees have complete knowledge about the jobs and interview and uh, relevant information about the job and its specific activities are gathered. A structured interview is most useful to collect vital information regarding any job. The next step is the preparation of job description form. So it is a document which shows the complete information describing the various activities involved in the job. It also describes how and when a job is to be you know, done and how a job holder will do it and a separate you know, job description form are prepared for different jobs uh, you know, stored for reference. The next step in the process of job analysis is to prepare job specification on the basis you know, of collected information that we have collected and the job specification is the statement uh, you know, declaring minimum acceptable qualifications required to perform a job uh, you know, successfully. Next step is the process of job analysis. Job, the process of job analysis is to prepare the report on the job analysis by the analyst and to admit the same to the human resource manager. The report contains the different activities of you know, various jobs and the minimum educational qualifications, their experiences, their training and skills required to perform them and recommendations. So dear learners, with this we have come to the end of the first part of the video lesson on job analysis. In this part of the video, we have discussed about the meaning of work study, we also discussed about method study and time study and lastly we got some idea on the various aspects related to uh, the process and the concept of job analysis. In the second part of the video, we will discuss about the various techniques of job analysis. In the second part of the video, we will discuss about the various techniques of job design. Thank you so much for watching this video and stay safe.